Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And as you can see... Those are the topic of discussion, and it is a mess. Because I'm like, how are you going to call somebody else skinny or getting too skinny when you just as skinny as she is? Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? That's some bullshit. Well, Kim is out there trying to tell a story to the world, or whoever will listen, that her sister Chloe is just getting too thin, and she feels the reason why she's getting so thin is because Tristan Crispin, Tristan has worn her ragged, okay? And I'm like, shit, the only thing, now see, that's, uh, what's her name? That's Kim, right? On both sides. She looking very thin herself. People were worried about her when she was going through her stuff with Kanye and her legally separating from him, being single. I was like, now you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So now she feels she's the only one that needs to be a size two or zero. And her sister, Chloe, she is almost not recognizable because she's always been, she ain't, she's never really been a plus size girl, but she's been like, have more meat on her. But she still looks good. It's, I wouldn't call her overweight. But, you know, to me, the pictures aren't really showing that she's really anorexic looking. You know what I'm saying? Seems like she's getting her exercise in. Maybe she's eating her protein. But, hey, when you got a man like Tristan, I don't see why she's stressed out. Because he has always played the position as a cheater. So, I'm like, what? what is different? What is different? Yes, he got another child. Uh-huh, sure did. When they were engaged to be married. But he didn't care. He feel like he can walk all over Chloe. And Chloe going to always take him back. And that is the sad part about it. That is the sad, sad part about it. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? Crazy. <sighs> but anyway, it's just here what it is. But we get this story by Daily Mail. And, um... Uh... We get the story by, like I said, by Daily Mail, and they're titling it. Uh, it was by um, Brian Gaither or Gallinger. He wrote it up for his uh, his uh, employer, Daily Mail. Okay, but this is such a trip, such a trip. They says you look very skinny. Kim Kardashian confronts her sister Chloe as she says the family are worried she's losing too much weight. Uh, weight over stress brought on by Tristan Thompson cheating scandal. And I'm like, come on, people, come on. Let's think outside the box here. She can dismiss that man whenever she feels like she need to. But she the one that keeps going back and forth, back and forth with that joker, back and forth, back and forth. Now, to me, does she looks healthy. She, she's just a thin version of herself. I don't know if she had surgery to remove a rib or something so she can come in like that hourglass figure. But to me, it seems like Kim is jealous of her sister, Chloe. Because she has gotten down into the single digits of wearing clothing. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's just one of them things, one of them things. But she don't look anorexic to me. So, I don't know why Kim coming out here saying such things. And then if she's going to say it towards Chloe, she might well say it back towards herself. Because it seems like not none of those sisters want to put an ounce of weight on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? They either always just eat salad, water, uh, maybe a cracker here or there. Uh, 
I'm just thinking they're plant-based people. You know what I'm saying? Then when they really go and get into the midst of things, <clears throat> or the thick of things, they'll probably eat, you know, something that they shouldn't have been eating or whatever. Then they probably go and regurgitate it back up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, we're going into the article. It says, Kim Kardashian reveals to Khloe Kardashian that her family is worried she's losing too much weight due to stress over Tristan Thompson. I'm like, mm-hmm. It is revealed in the opening moment that last week's season two premiere, which ends with Chloe welcoming her second child through surrogacy at the end of July 2022, was actually the end of filming for that season. The second episode entitled Proud of You goes all the way back to early February 2022, showcasing the birth of Kylie Jenner's second child while Kim confronts uh, Chloe about her weight loss. And Chloe drops another bombshell that she never told her family. Tristan actually proposed to Chloe. Mm -hmm. Chloe comes to um, visit Kim's house dressed in all black as Kim reveals she's going to or going through a book she found in the stores that she hasn't gone through. As Chloe sits on the bed and jokes she doesn't want to know how many storage units she has. Kim, dressed in all black herself, takes a look up from her book at Chloe and says, You look very skinny. I would say, I will say that Kendall and Kylie, not that I'm trying to out, uh, out them, but they did text me and say that they were a little concern for you because you're really skinny, Kim asks, as Chloe isn't sure how to react. <laughs> I can tell you how to react. Your sister jealous of you, honey. I yeah. Because that right there does not really say, you know, her bone, you might be seeing a little her bone or whatever. But I, you know, but it seems like it's more built as far as athletic build. But it is what it is. They're paying attention to her more so than she wants them to pay attention to her. Uh, going back to the article, it says, Wow, the really star had recently been showcasing her swell physique and sparkling concern and sparking concern from her loved ones. Uh, pictured at the Milan Fashion Week on Saturday. Uh, the second episode entitled Proud of You goes all the way back to early February of 2022, showcasing the birth of Kylie Jenner's second child while Ken confronts Chloe with our weight loss. Okay, so let's see here. She adds that she thinks Chloe is a little bit stressed as Chloe asked and Kendall said it, the model. Wow. Kim asked that she told them that she thinks Chloe is fine and they absolutely have every right to be concerned. But I'm telling you, she's fine. All right, then tell them she's fine then, Kim. Because both of y'all probably taking vitamin supplements which you're gonna need because you're not putting everything in your body which is a lot of protein which is a lot of vegetables fruits and vegetables and stuff but then maybe they are but i'm pretty sure they're probably taking um appetite suppressants as well okay kim asks how chloe is feeling about she says you know it's a lot but i just but i just like to isolate and deal with things on my own. Everyone has problems. So why would I bring uh, those problems? Okay. Mm-hmm. She added in a confessional. That what happened with Tristan was incredibly hard. Adding the hardest part was training yourself to unlove someone. This was my life for six years. And we were. When we weren't just a couple. We genuinely were best friends. He was my workout buddy. Mm-hmm. We did all these things, or all those things together. So learning how to undo all those things that takes time, Chloe added. Just because someone did you dirty doesn't mean you fall out of love with someone instantly. Chloe added in confession. But, you know, Chloe, I have to say, yeah, you can. You can dismiss them. Yes, you can fall out of love with them. Just think about the horrible things they put you through. Think about they thought of themselves before they thought about you. Yes. You can forgive, but you ain't going to forget. But you still like messing with this cheater constantly, 
on your ass. He's constantly cheating on you, and you're constantly being made the fool out of us. So when are you going to get tired, my dear? When are you going to say enough is enough is enough? I can't go on. I can't go on no more now. Yeah. You got to say that to yourself and then say it to Tristan, okay? And mean it this time, damn it. Mean it. But anyway, <clears throat> going back over to the article, it's uh, she goes on to tell Kim that she and Tristan were in their best place. We were in their relationship when he cheated. Wait a minute, hold up. We were in their relationship when he cheated on her yet again. So we're in the peak of our relationship. You go ahead and cheat on me. I don't even want to know what you do in the worst of our relationships, Chloe told her sister. Hmm. Chloe asks, I'm just the same. I'm just ashamed on um, wait a minute, hold up. Chloe says, I'm just like shame on me almost. I know better than I didn't do better because I had so much hope and faith. Well, ain't nothing about hopes and faith. There ain't nothing wrong with having hope and faith. That's all two good things to do and to have. And to um what do you call it? Infobot infobot what do you call it? Emphasize on. But when a cheater shows you he's a cheater, believe him the first time. There's no sense of you hitting your head over and over and over again for somebody who doesn't respect you, could care less about your feelings, and in a sense don't want to be with you if you just open up your eyes and see what it is, it's what it is. Okay. Um, Kim says that Chloe asked her something once. How do you trust Pete? And Kim says, you just do it. It's just a feeling. Chloe asks, she doesn't know how to trust, but she does know that it sucks and it's humiliating and it's hurtful. I just don't have anything else to give. Any fucks? Mm -hmm. Kim asks, and Chloe says that when people say she's so strong and Chloe doesn't think so, she's strong. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm literally just numb to all of this shit. Like, how much can people take? Chloe adds, as Kim says in confession, that she just worries for Chloe. Okay, I think that she holds so much in, Kim adds in confession, before telling Chloe that one of the growth blessings she is, she can't worry about what's humiliating before Kim drops quite the bombshell. I mean, the fact that he proposed and you never told us, Kim says, an admission which even surprises one of the producers. Well, she probably didn't want to tell y'all because y'all would judge her. Judge her and then judge her again. And with Mama uh, Chris Jenner, the momager, she ain't gonna have that shit. She gonna say, well, let that shit play out on TV so you can get the sympathy votes. You can get the sympathy, uh, whatever, from the fans or fanatics or, hell, your enemies. You can at least say, hey, I did what I had to do when I had to do it and it didn't work and I'm gone. That's all you could have said, baby. You don't have to go through all this. But see, if you didn't go through the drama, you wouldn't have anything to bring to the Kardashian show. So, of course, a little here, a little there, a little white lie here, a little white lie there, a little put on here, a little put on there. You know, because we'll never know. We will never know what you all are doing as far as ratings, making you all look and be likable. And uh, selling y'all brand, which is y'all sales. But anyway, let's go back to the article. It says, Kim asked that she ran into Tristan and asked about the proposal. And he said that he did that months ago. And he asked, she didn't tell you guys? Kim asked in a confessional. I never forget, or I'll never forget Tristan calling me. And he was going to propose to her on Valentine's Day, which was like a year since they had drama. So... This was like Valentine's Day. And then I called him the day after and was like, hey, I never heard anything from Chloe. Oh, my God, did you propose? Uh, and he was like, uh, yeah, I did in December. Oh, my, she didn't tell us? Hmm, Chloe tells Kim, I said I need to make sure this is a total different relationship because I want to say I'm proud to be engaged to anyone. All righty then. 
that's why I said I'm not comfortable accepting this right now because I'm not excited to tell my family and as sure as that was probably hurtful for him to hear it. It was the truth. I'm not even or I'm not ever going to accept something and give someone false hope. And that's what I told him. Chloe tells Kim. Kim asked in a confession. Oof, I don't know if someone asked me, I would just have to say yes. I feel so bad. Kim, we know you would take anything, whether it's at face value or not. And somehow your mama would turn it into somewhat of a reality show. And y'all continue to make more and more money. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Okay. Um, let's see. I tell everyone, if you don't think I'm neat, Chloe's ten times neater. You think I work out, Chloe works out ten times harder, Kim says, which brings a smile to Chloe's face. So you see, it seems like they are going against each other when it comes to losing the weight and who's going to be the thinnest of the sisters, okay? Uh, going back to the article, it says, you are like a better person than anyone that I know. Kim says, as the sisters, sisters embrace in a hug, as Chloe says, that was the nicest thing she said to her before she starts to tickle Kim. Who jokes? Who gets violent when she gets tickled? Before the episode begins, it revealed that the remainder of season two was filmed six months before the previous episode. So... Chloe reveals that she filmed all of season two with not talking about this event in my life simply because I wanted to keep it private and I wasn't ready to share it. A producer reveals that the show is basically going back in time now as they rewind through various events before stopping on February 2nd, 2022. This date is roughly three months after Kim Kardashian told Chloe about the exclusive DailyMail.com report revealed Chloe, then boyfriend Tristan Thompson, was fathering another child with another woman in the season one finale, which aired on Hula, Hula in mid-June. The episode cuts to Chris' house, where Corey Gamble wakes Chris up, revealing Kylie just went into a labor. They both hustle to get there. Or they both hustle to get uh, ready, as Chris uh, says in confession that Kylie is giving birth to her second child was such an exciting night. And no matter how many times you've been through this, it's still a scramble. Chris asks in confessionals as she's seen getting snacks for her daughter. This is crazy. We're going to have a baby, Chris exclaims, before heading into the garage and pondering whether they should bring a bottle of wine or champagne. Really now? We really going to get toasted? When the girl just had a baby? Is that how we going through this, Chris? Girl. But Corey says they shouldn't. But he says he'll grab a bottle of champagne anyway because Chris insists it's a celebration. Corey is seen filming a makeshift confession on himself, adding, of course, she wants champagne and wine right now. But when Chris asked what she was saying, he just says, I was just saying you're beautiful as she rushes him to get in the car. Asking him to stop filming and focus on driving as the title card is shown. The episode cuts to Cedar Sinai Hospital as Kylie films some footage herself as well. Okay. I feel like with my second one, you just anticipate everything and you know what's going to happen and you've done it before. So I feel like I was a lot more present this time, Kylie says in the confessional. Chris is heard saying... He's out as we hear the baby cry, but don't see the child. As Kyla adds, happy birthday, 222. 2468, okay. This show the first photo Kylie shared on her son, Wolf, holding his mother's hand on a Instagram on February 6, 2022, before Chris says, Wolf is her 11th grandchild, and she couldn't be more excited adding their family uh, adding their families grows every single year. Child. Chloe adds, 
he's so cute they're all just so cute wow kendall adds i love my entire family i love all of my nieces and nephews this is definitely a massive birth control moment for me as we reach uh, uh as we hear a record scratch as she clarifies just because it's a lot a producer asked chloe how many nieces and nephews she has as chloe says with the lab i have no idea maybe 12 i honestly <laughs> she said i honestly don't know child 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 and they keep talking about the kids and whatnot but really chloe needs to check herself she don't need to be with no man that cares nothing for her that treats her like the bottom of a uh, piece of gum that has been worn on the pavement and you accidentally step in it okay so i don't know what chloe is doing whether she's losing this weight because she feels she wants to be thin and it's not going to put her in a situation where she's anorexic looking or her bones are in the process of being fragile because she's not getting enough calcium in or protein in. But honey, baby, <laughs> you ought to stop it. Stop it. You and Kim are the gurus and the poster children for looking like an hourglass and kim i think she wants to be a size zero because she got in this skinny couldn't function in it couldn't walk in it type of dress because she wanted to have it on so i don't know what her co her connection is of wanting to be thin but it's a bit too much for me and i don't care how thin she becomes or how medium sized she want to be. Tristan, Tristan is not a one woman man. Period and point blank. It's time for you to get that through your head. Chloe. And that you raise your child as best you can. And give him the rights to see him. And come get him whenever he feels like he needs to. Okay. That's what you need to do. You need to let that joker go. And go on into the sunset with somebody new. And call it a day. So we damn sure can call it a day. Because I'm tired of hearing about Kim. Uh, and and uh, <coughs> Kanye. And I'm tired of hearing you. First it was Lamar going crazy. And then it's this Tristan guy you can't seem to get rid of. But you keep wanting to have children with this man. It's beyond me. But that's all I got for this video guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Make sure you hit that subscription uh, button and tap that bell to let us let you know, or I'll let you know when I'm dropping videos. Okay, so share, like, and subscribe to the channel, and definitely watch the videos. Okay, get your kiki and your laughs, and sometimes I'll be dropping nuggets, good nuggets for you all to hold on to and put them in your lifestyle. Okay, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye bye.